Welcome to Draw Me Thursday! Today we're going to do a scarecrow and this is more of a demo than anything. And we're going to start out with some templates. I like to use Lisa Glance for my templates. Uh, she has a great Procreate brush set, but there's also a lot of other resources that you can look for online. Uh, just anything really basic. I did digital uh, posable figures and you can use things like that to sketch over. So here is the template that I used, again, from Lisa Glantz. And I have put already put all my pieces into place. So I put the head where I wanted, the hands, the arms, body, and then I added a pendant where we're gonna add the word, or you were gonna add the word, whatever you wanna put. I put fall because that's kind of, the scarecrow is what I'm aiming for in this exercise. So what you would do is you would put a piece of paper on top. Once you've printed out, I'm sending you guys this template, the same template, and you guys can follow along or do your own thing. So now that you have your paper on top, you can begin to trace uh, whatever you're thinking about. And you can do this a few times and see which idea you like most. Um, I like to start out from the top to the bottom and I'm thinking that for this one, if you can see, I'm going to add kind of a wide brim hat like that. And I want it to kind of be like a witch's hat. And extend out. And the cool little ribbon like that. And then you can just follow along with the lines that are there already. Add the little ear, the face. Still have like those reference lines so that you know where your features will go as far as your eyes and all that stuff. And then at this point, you can think about, okay, what kind of hair is this character going to have? I'm thinking maybe some wide swoopy bangs and some like long hair this is just a sketch so you know just be free with your movement and your ideas lines can go on top of each other it's quite all right at this point um and then you would go again over this drawing to finalize your lines. So this is kind of the fun part where you get to experiment. What is my character going to wear? And then the next thing, let's see randomly. I'm just going to put maybe like some overalls on her. So there's her following again, following those lines. I'm just going to put Some overalls on. Overalls have that little maybe a big pocket like that. And the arms, which are extending out from her overalls. fold in her pants. I'm just going to give her some basic, nothing crazy here. I'm just following the lines of what's underneath. <laughs> this might be a little bit big for a foot. <laughs> See, that's why this is the tracing portion. And maybe some pockets weird little thing here even though it's overalls and because she's a scarecrow I like to add little patches a little patch here maybe a heart patch here and some straw kind of sticking out some straw here Draw 
saw there. And then the hands, again, following the lines. Um, I'm putting gloves on her or mittens because um, scarecrows don't really have hands. <laughs> I mean, they could, but this one does not. Uh, so we got the thumb here, a little mitten hand there. Very, very rough. Just kind of to get an idea where the hand would go. And I'm pressing down because it's hard to see in this light here. Um, so again, here's that little pendant. And the hand with the um, straw sticking out. And then you could even give it a little Ooh. And then you would do the eyes right here, right there, maybe a little little nose and yours. All right. So that's kind of what you're aiming for as far as using the templates, which they're really, really great for things like this, just to get an idea of how your bodies are usually made. I know that this one has very little neck, but we could even put like a little string here for her head. Use your imagination. And some, maybe some darken the shirt a little bit. And that will give you your rough sketch for whatever your next part would be, which would be outlining your final lines. And I'll show you in my next video how I did that. So I'm gonna narrate what I'm doing right now. And this is when I was laying out my figure drawing and I was trying to see what the heck I was gonna do. Remember those uh, templates that you used to use when you were a kid? I don't know, I did, but they were like fashion plates and you would put clothes on the bodies of these models. Well, this is kind of the same process. So here I'm deciding what kind of outfit she's going to wear. And I decided that she was gonna be a girl scarecrow because there really aren't many girl scarecrows. Almost looks like I put a halo on top of her. And initially I was gonna use this hat with a little flower, but then I decided I didn't really like it. So I changed it later on. Um, but you'll see me go back and forth with ideas as far as the face. Oh, here I go. There I am changing the hat. I really do like that style. Then I'm adding some fun patches to make it look more scarecrow-like, adding details to the hair, making it a little more wispy as we go along. And you'll see me go back and forth to make sure that my figure drawing is where I want it to be. And again, adding some more patches. Then my next step is adding some more detail to the outfit, adding some details to the shirt and the gloves, and then adding the straw in different places because she is a scarecrow. She's got straw kind of coming out everywhere. I really liked the idea to add some texture in that way. Once I was happy with all that and I uh, finished putting some more small details into the drawing, my next step was to add some color, which we'll get to next. But here I am just putting in some more ideas of what I wanted to do. And looks like I'm doing my final sketch here over the first sketch, which is what I always recommend people to do. And this is more of my final sketch that I'm going to add color to. As you can see, I've changed some things from the initial sketch to my final sketch. I added a few more details uh, and then I changed directions on some of the um, straw pieces, added more detail in the boots. Let's see what else. Oh, it looks like I am putting in the patches. Always fun. I love adding patches. They're so simple and really bring things to life. And I added some more straws you can see in places that weren't initially there. I liked to think that the hair was more wispy. Oh, looks like I'm going to add more color at this point. So actually, I'm going to start adding color at this point. So I started from the top 
and I had different layers. That's why you're going to see that my color um, starts kind of from the bottom and then I add to the top as you can see with the hair. The hair is going to be kind of a straw color since that's kind of the color of straw <laughs> that I went with. And you could of course make your scarecrow any color, it doesn't matter. Uh, I just liked this color particularly for this little scarecrow girl. I'm just adding some more wispy bits and adding color to the ribbon. I kind of went back and forth with the color that I wanted to use for the ribbon, but I settled with an orange, kind of like a burnt orange, and just adding that in there and adding some color to the face. And here I go with the jumper. I decided on some teal blue because I wanted to not to be all completely brown and orange and yellows. I thought maybe some teal overalls would be fun. Uh, even though I don't really know many burlap bags turned into outfits with a teal color, but that's what makes it unique and fun and you could choose whatever color you'd want. So here I am filling in the color for her jumper and then adding some cool stockings, which later on I, I put some really neat little uh, black lines to look like those neat uh, Halloween leggings. I went with some green boots because I wanted them to stand out. <laughs> and then these mittens are funny because they look more like socks, which they might have been. If you have ever made a scarecrow, you kind of use whatever you have. So these are pretty much socks <laughs> that I put on her for hands. And then I was adding some color to the shirt, which is probably one of your dad's like flannel shirts that hardly ever get used. So that's what I put in there. You can see I put in the stockings and then I'm coloring in the pendant here. I'm going to add the words fall, even though my daughter came to me and she said, mom, it looks like you wrote fail on the pendant, but really it was fall. <laughs> Just so you know, <laughs> adding some more shadows into the straw hair as well as shadows and darker details to the rest of the drawing. There we go, adding some more color to the sock mittens. And looks like we're adding some more deeper shadows to show some volume and depth into the drawing now. Added it to the hat. And just you would think about where the light is coming from and that's where you would add your shadows. You could always go back and forth and see where you want the light to be coming from and where the shadows are going to enter. And then I was adding some texture because I love texture. And again, going back to the ever famous Lisa Glance, she has some amazing Procreate brushes with patterns and such that really bring any artwork to life. And I think it just adds a special detail to add some texture and some patterns to your drawing. Here I'm adding some grittiness to the boots and some light because I didn't want them to be perfectly sparkly and new because usually when you do scarecrows you're using objects that have been worn out and there's the fall slash fail. <laughs> I still think it says fall. And adding a few more shadows. Soon we're going to get to the shadow on the bottom and that's where I would pretty much be at the end of my video because this is where I add the floor uh, to show that she's not just floating on air. She's actually on the ground <laughs> looking at us and enjoying the beginning of fall, which starts next week. So I hope you enjoyed this video watching me draw this cute little girl scarecrow and I hope to see you again next week for another fall inspired drawing. Thanks so much for joining us today. Share what you've done. Come on back soon. Bye.